just want to say, man, you guys are really serious about becoming a truck driver and taking on this profession. Know that it is not to be played with. You cannot slack in any area. You can do certain things with limitations, but that should not give you motivation to want to slack off because this is a very serious job. A lot of people don't know the depths of how serious this thing is until they get into it. And that's why most people don't want to be over the road. I can understand that, you know, but for anybody that's thinking about being a truck driver or even uh, on their way going to a school or if you're at a tech school or whatever the case may be, whichever route you take, you should do your best to learn as much as possible while you're in there and even more whenever you get on the road. Nobody knows everything about trucking. Not one person out here. I'm tired right now because I just got done doing my workout. But anyway, man, um, you got to be willing to be away from your family. Whether you have an uh, actual family where you're married or you got kids, whatever the case may be, you have to be willing to sacrifice your time with them for an allotted amount of time, at least until you get to where you feel to where you need to be. I'll say it like that. Um, yeah, you gotta endure going across 52 states, dealing with all types of different inclement weathers, weather changes throughout a whole day because you can't drive from one part of the country to the next within a day. And yeah, put it to you like this, I'm hot right now, it's hot outside. I just came from Wisconsin. It was 40, 40 degrees out there. This was two days ago. so. Yeah, you can just imagine that, you know what I'm saying? You can go from this right here, which is all sunny, to, you can go from that to a snowstorm, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really crazy. So you have to mentally prepare yourself to deal with those type of things. You gotta worry about the crazy drivers out here because in every city, especially major cities, people don't know how to drive. Um, but even beside that, you're gonna see so many crazy things out here. There are truckers that'll try to run you off the road. If you have a CB, you'll hear a lot of vulgar stuff, a lot of uh, different slurs and things like that. Where these guys on the radio talk about people. It's all different types of things, man. But in, in my uh, opinion, to me, I feel like everything has been worth it up until this point because I have a certain set of goals in my head and I'm actually to the stage of where I'm reaching them. A lot of people that came after me, this is my third year driving, y'all get to reap the benefits of making 50 cent a mile or 40 something cent a mile starting out and things like that. Luckily, I didn't go to a company that didn't really, really pay uh, well. I mean, I, I started with CRST, so. Um, they started me out with 30 cent, I think. I ended up with 52 training or whatever. But um, yeah, at least I didn't start out making like 18 cent a mile. I know places that do that and you don't wanna go there. But um, yeah, so just think about that and know your first year you will not make any money. That is the biggest thing. You will not make any money your first year. Um, I don't know about going to a smaller company or a carrier or anything like that. Um, so I can't really speak on that, but overall, I know you won't make that much money and you, you might get home time more often. I really don't know, but I don't know. Either way, it's going to balance itself out one way or the other because you're still giving up something and you have to earn your spot. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. I don't know. People may have different circumstances to where they have people that want them to go to school and then come work for them and things like that. That's the position I'm uh, working towards now, but that's not what this video is about. Um, yeah, man, just be humble in every aspect. Learn as much as you can from everybody. You know, um, a lot of people don't like to talk to you out here. Some people are very generous or kind-hearted and they'll speak, but like I can say you just notice a lot of different things, whether you're male or female. I don't really see too too many female truck drivers like that. They don't they don't come out as much. Um, but I know they are out here, but either way, 
everybody need to protect themselves and just remember that this is a cruel world so everything ain't all pieces and cream which it goes for everything else in life but you always have to watch your back um just be aware of all your surroundings and do not take this thing as a, 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 a anything that you can take of leisure you know what i'm saying this is an 80,000 pound death machine or death missile or whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying the regular pedestrian drivers I shouldn't say pedestrian drivers because pedestrians walk. But regular drivers that are in four wheelers, that's what they call uh, their cars and trucks that aren't semis. Sorry about that. Let me turn my radio down, matter of fact. But um, yeah, the regular drivers, they don't know that this truck can't stop on the dime like their car can. Um, so yeah, you really have to be aware of that. But other than that man just get in here and do it and don't play around you know what i'm saying you can achieve whatever success it is that you want as long as you really go after it and put forth the effort and you put in the time you know what i'm saying you only get as far as you take yourself um you have to have a, a great mindset don't just let the first thing that goes wrong to tell you because you will have times where things don't go right you know um at times you feel like you're lonely whether you're in a truck with somebody or not i do or i would recommend in my opinion that uh your first year at least or six months or whatever experience you feel like you need to be out here to where you can run things it's all on how you feel i think that you should take your first few months driving with somebody like co-driving you know what i'm saying i think that's the best experience you could have because if not bro you could really you could really terrify yourself up out of this you know you can throw yourself out the window <laughs> not literally but you know what i'm saying like you could be out here and get lost and you don't have anybody else to help you on the truck or i've seen drivers that ask people to park for them and things like that because they didn't get trained correctly you know what i'm saying like it's di just different things like that you know finding shippers or uh delivery places the, the shippers or receivers finding the places that you take your freight and pick it up that can be hard sometimes if you don't have a gps that can really be tough unless you know how to use a map which i would recommend that you learn how to use it if you don't because that's very helpful um but yeah like don't use your phone for uh gps unless you use like a trucking app or something like that but you're really not supposed to use it like that uh, I'll just say that unless it tells you low bridges and things like that but um don't 100% trust the phone either or GPS for that matter um but yeah am I missing anything I don't think I'm really missing too much but if you guys have any other questions you can ask them down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to uh assist you with as much as i can because i do have a certain amount of knowledge i don't know everything like i said this is my third year driving um and i'm working towards a goal but i know enough to know enough to tell a new driver something and i can even help them out whether it be with a job or going to school all of that I, i'm able to do that so yeah you can also comment on my post or send me an email the um my email is down in the uh description or you can hit me up on instagram i just started a new um ig and it's uh tr underscore run 88 if you type that in on instagram i'll come up like i said i just uh i just created it like a few days ago so um there won't be too many pictures up I think I made like two posts. I'm going to make more. This is what's going to be on there as well. My YouTube videos and things like that. But um, other than that, man, that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to like this video. Uh, comment on this video. Like I said before, if you have any questions or if you want to add anything, leave it down in the comments below. Share this video with anybody that you think it may help. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop new content. Um, until then, guys, everybody be blessed. Everybody be safe. 
as always stay healthy be happy keep loving your heart and until next time peace